So in a scan or in the preparation rescan, we want you to sense the contact your back is making with the floor and how much weight you can give into the floor so that your muscles can take a holiday, so to speak. As you'll notice on this video, I brought one knee up to see if I could hold that leg up, feel the hip joint moving. Now I'm going into sensing the shoulder blade, the shoulder joint within the blade. I'm taking one arm and I'm trying to find comfort there, having the other arm support it and have that one arm that's going up towards the ceiling, rotating, seeing if I can sense the ball inside the socket. And then I'm gliding. The fingertips are gliding along this, towards the ceiling. I'm turning my hand as I glide, and I'm sensing the ball moving inside the socket, and I'm sensing the scapular's weight shifting along the floor as my left hand is sort of touching and giving my brain information through the experience. There's more nerve endings in our hands. So if we touch something, our brain can, we might be able to understand the movement better. So there's some nerve endings in that shoulder area, not in the joint itself, right? So it's around so to really sense a ball moving inside a socket is difficult that's where we come up with the visualization so this is again where i'm starting to tilt my knee to one side or the other sensing the weight shifting in my foot as well as trying to imagine the weight shifting in the ball inside that socket and then i'm moving the arm with uh, side to side a little bit maybe am I doing that and then going in the same direction now I could fall they could fall but the idea is to move and be able to return because that's where the brain is really listening so then we go in opposition and now the brain is doing something that's a little unusual perhaps you might feel the weight of your right side of your pelvis going into the floor a little bit or you could feel the weight of the scapula going to the outside or to the inside the idea is to break up the, the possible pattern that you might be into and to then give it time for your brain to sort so if you noticed at the end of that I brought my leg down and it was very different. That's what we're looking for, noticing differences.